Hi guys. Uh, we're going to look at something today that's just a combination of skills we've done over the past few days. Uh, what's going to happen is we're going to be given fractions and we're going to have to prove that the fractions are equivalent. So instead of someone asking us for an equivalent fraction, they're giving us two fractions and saying, can you prove it? Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, two ways to do it. One is going to be pictures. Now if you're trying to prove with pictures, the first thing to do is to look at what your fractions are. I see that the two fractions I want to prove are 1 half and 3 sixths, so I have to prove they're equivalent. So the first thing to do is to make two pictures that are the same size. Now does anyone know why we might do that? i got to do it because I need to show that my whole, or my denominator, is going to be the same for both fractions, showing the same size of the whole. Okay. Now the next thing to do is to make the original fraction in both figures. Now the original, or the smaller one, is 1 half. So I'm going to make 1 half twice. 1 half, 1 half. Having uh, the same 1 half or the same thing shaded in both shows us that the numerator doesn't change. The same amount is uh, shaded for each of them. So they're, they're still equivalent to fractions because right now they're the same fraction. Now the next thing to do is a minute ago they were both 1 half is to just change just the second one to my new fraction which is 3 sixths. So all I did was add more partitions, more divisions, make sure that each of my columns or sections is the same size. I split the numerator into three parts and the whole figure into six parts. Last, I checked to make sure each part of the figure is the same size. Okay? So remember, this was one half a minute ago and I just drew more lines. Let's go back a second. So you can see here, it's one half. And all I do is add more lines. So now I'm kind of proving you that 1 half is equal to 3 sixths. Last thing I'm going to do is explain. I know that 1 half and 3 sixths are equivalent because I made two pictures where the whole and the shaded part are the same size in both. The only thing that's different is the number of parts that make up the whole in the equivalent fraction. Okay? So this explanation is important as to how we know that they're the same. Let's look at another one. Okay, our two fractions are 1 fourth and 4 eighths. Now pause the video for a second. I want you guys to get your whiteboards and do this one with me. Okay, if we have them out, let's go ahead and take a look. First thing, 1 fourth and 2 eighths, we're going to make two pictures that are the same size, two rectangles. Okay, so here's my two rectangles. Now, this shows me the denominator is the same, or my whole is the same for both of them. Remember, when you want equivalence, you got to make sure everything is the same. Next, Make them both the original fraction. So I'm just going to draw 1 fourth twice. So 1 out of 4, 2 times. Now these are definitely equal because they're the same fraction. Now in a second, I'm going to change my second fraction to 2 eighths by drawing more divisions, more partitions. Okay? So they're both 1 fourth. This one's about to become 2 eighths. Okay, we see that? Let's go back. 1 fourth, 2 eighths. Nothing else got shaded. We just drew more lines. So I split the numerator into 2 and the whole figure, or the denominator, into 8. This shows us that 1 fourth is equal to 2 eighths. Here's your explanation. I know they're equivalent because I made two pictures where the whole and the shaded part, or the numerator, are the same size in both. The only thing that's different is the number of parts that make up the whole and the number of parts that make up my numerator. Okay. All right, now we're going to do this one together, okay? One half is equal to two fourths. First thing, draw two equal shapes. Now, I know I'd say not to usually do circles, but this is a simple one, so it should be okay if you do a circle. First thing you're going to do, let's make one half in both of them. So I want this to be one half, and I want this to be one half. Now, they're definitely equivalent because I drew the same thing. The only thing that's going to change is in the second one, I'm going to change it to 2 fourths. Now remember, we can make equivalent fractions by drawing more lines, and now it's 2 out of 4. I know they're equivalent because, tell someone around you how you might do that. Uh, I'm going to say I know they're equivalent because I drew the same fraction twice, so I knew the shaded area or the numerator was the same. I knew the denominator was the same. The only thing that changed was I added more lines, divisions, or partitions. The size didn't, the whole didn't change, the amount shaded didn't change. All parts of both fractions were equal in size. Okay, let's look at one more. We need to show that 2 thirds is equal to 4 sixths. So, first thing to do is 
make two shapes that are the same size. We did that. Do that on your board, on your whiteboard. Now, let's make the original two-thirds in both of them. So I'm going to make both of them two-thirds. So I'll draw these lines on both sides. And I'm going to make both of them two-thirds, which means I'm going to shade in two of them. Two-thirds here and two-thirds here. Okay, so I've got two-thirds in both. They're definitely the same. They're definitely equivalent because I just drew the same fraction twice. Now I just need to change the second fraction to say four-sixths. So I think I can just divide right here. And let's count. One, two, three, four. So that's four out of six. So these are definitely equivalent. I proved it with my picture. And I know that they're equivalent because the whole, the size didn't change, the shaded area didn't change. The only thing that changed was the number of divisions or partitions. So I know these are equivalent, and I proved it. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to prove that fractions are equivalent, except we're going to use number lines. Okay, But we're going to follow the same steps. First thing to always do is look at your fractions. One half and three sixths. Okay, so those are my two fractions. Now before I can do anything, I want to make two number lines that are the same size. Why do you think that I do that? The reason is that shows that my whole or my denominator is going to be the same for both of them. If I drew a number line that was this big and a second one that was this big, that wouldn't prove anything. They need to be the same size. Next, draw the original fraction in both. So I'm going to make them both equal to one half. That shows me that the numerator is the same in both of them. They're the same fraction right now. Okay? Now what's going to happen is I'm going to change the second one to 3 sixths by adding more partitions. Now let's take a look. Right now it's 1 half, and it just changed into 3 sixths. Let's look back, 1 half, here it's 3 sixths. 0 halves, 1 half, 2 halves. Let's do the same thing here. 0 sixths, 1 sixth, 2 sixths, 3 sixths, 4 sixths, 5, and six sixths. Both times I showed you one half and three sixths are equivalent. Okay? I split the numerator into three parts and the whole figure into six parts. And I need to make sure that each division or partition or section is the same size. Here's my explanation. I know they're equivalent because I made two number lines that were the same length. And the point is the same distance down in both of them. The only thing that's different is the number of parts that make up the whole. The number of parts changed. Okay? Now I want you to do this one on your whiteboard. Okay? So start with me. 1 fourth and 2 eighths. First thing, make two number lines that are equivalent. Do that now and pause me. Okay, remember this shows my whole is the same size. Next, make the original 1 fourth in both of them. Okay? Do that. Go. Make 1 fourth in both number lines. Go. Okay, here it is, one-fourth in both of them. Now the next thing you need to do is make two-eighths the second one. They're both one-fourth. That shows they're equivalent. Now make the second one two-eighths. Pause and do that. Go. Okay, let's take a look. Second one got changed. Right here, it's one-fourth. Here, it's two-eighths. Let me prove it. Now this one is eighths, let's check and see, one-fourth equivalent to two-eighths. Split the numerator in two parts, right here, and the whole figure into eight parts. Here's my explanation. Okay, oh, let's pause for a second. Okay, you go ahead and grab your worksheet, write your name on it, and we're getting started. First thing, show that 2 fourths is equal to 4 eighths with a picture. So first thing i got to do, if I remember my directions, make two figures, two pictures that are the same size. So here we go. One, two. This tells me the whole is the same, denominator is the same. Now I'm going to make them both 2 fourths. That will show me that the numerator is the same.
Now I want them both to be two fourths. So here we go. One, two, one, two. Last step, I'm going to change the second one to four eighths. They're definitely equivalent right now. And now this one is two fourths and this one is four eighths. I just showed it. Here's how I can explain it. I know they're equivalent because they were the same fraction. And I added more parts. Or we'll say divisions to get four eighths. Okay, pause if you need, otherwise, here we go. Number two, show that one third is equal to three ninths with a picture. First thing to do, make two pictures that are the same size. One, two. Okay. Now, second, shade the same amount in both. So I'm going to shade one third in both of them. Now they're both thirds. And in both of them, let's get one third. One third, one third. Last thing to do, I'm going to add more lines, more divisions to create the equivalent, which is 3 9 So I'm going to prove that they're equivalent. Okay, So here's how we're going to do it. This is going to stay 1 third, and this one is going to be divided into ninths. Now this is still 1 third, and this is 1, 2, 3 out of six, seven, or five, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 3 ninths. Okay? I know the two fractions are equivalent because they have the same size shaded. That's another way I could say it. Okay? Let's look at our problem number three, number lines. Show that 2 fifths is equivalent to 4 tenths. So they're asking me, can you prove that these are the same? So we're going to prove it. First thing, two number lines that are the same size. Two number lines, same whole. Next, plot the same point in both, which means I need to make both of these show two fifths. So let's make them both two fifths. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. I'll label this one. But I'm not going to label the second one because that one's going to change. But I will still plot that one. So I want them both to be two-fifths. So here's two-fifths here, and here's two-fifths here. They're definitely equivalent because they're in the same distance down from the beginning, from the zero. Now I'm going to add more lines to create the equivalent. Okay, so right now it's two-fifths. I'm going to turn it into four-tenths. Here's the labels to prove it. And here you can see... 2 fifths is equivalent to 4 tenths. One thing that's important. The point for 4 tenths, it's not down here, it's not down here. It's equivalent. It's in the same spot. My explanation is going to say, I know the two fractions are equivalent because my point is in the same place in both lines even though one line is out of 5 and the other line is out of 10, you're seeing that they're equivalent. Okay, last one. Show 3 fourths is equivalent to 9 twelfths with a number line. Okay, first thing, make two number lines that are the same size. Next, plot the same point on both. Which one should we plot? 3 fourths. So I'm going to plot 3 fourths on both. So if I know fourths, I can split them both in half. Then I can split those halves into four, and let's check. Zero, one, two, three, four. All right, let's label. Okay, now I need both of them to be two-fourths, so here we go. Oh, sorry, three-fourths. I misread that. Three-fourths here, and three-fourths here. Okay, so they're both three-fourths. Right now you can see that they're equivalent. They're in the same spot. Okay, sorry, I had to skip ahead there for time, but just pause this and look at it, make sure you understand it, uh, and go back and check if anything, uh, you, if there's anything you need to recheck. Okay.